सो आई एम गोइंग टू द काला घोड़ा फेस्टिवल टूडे एंड आई थॉट वाई नॉट ब्लॉग इट सो इफ़ इफ़ यू गैस डोंट नो वॉट काला घोड़ा इज इट इज मल्टी कल्चरल फेस्टिवल इट इज़ द बिगेस्ट मल्टी कल्चरल फेस्टिवल इन द कंट्री सो या आई दिस इज द सेकेंड टाइम आई एम विजिटिंग दै एंड लास्ट ईयर आई वेन दै बट it was i think we went on the last day and it was the evening night time and it was really very crowded so uh, this time i am leaving early and i'm going on a weekday so hopefully there won't be a lot of crowd because i wasn't really able to enjoy last time so yeah i thought why not vlog and show you guys uh, around show you guys all the artifacts and everything so i'm going to the station now and i catch a train and i think i should reach there in around 1 uh, hour or so let's see to be church this station in fact i just reached and uh, well i'm making no promises on how good the audio is going to be i will be talking really less and i'll be showing things around more i have to get down now probably end up doing some voice overs uh, so i'm just about entering inside right now and then i will show you guys around that is the very famous kala ghoda let me go take a closer look yeah i was going to bring my dslr along but uh, I'm fairly new to photography, so I did not want to no, experiment. I guess. So let me see what this is. Thing here, it is some sort of a wishing tree where people are hanging in their wishes. I'll give you a look. It is by Bajaj. It says there is so many things out here that you really get confused as to what you should see and what you should not see i'll try to show you guys almost everything that i can there are all these food stalls if you can see there's this orange horse over here i don't know if it reads anything and there is another horse out here let me check it out This is made out of uh, spice boxes, I think. Yeah, 
and it says this entire thing is made out of charcoal and it depicts the movement of horse as it's written on the uh, made out of charcoal this is another wishing horse kind of thing so there's this horse here and people have stuck or tied their wishes down on over it so crowded here that i can't even show things properly are these rocking horses here which are the cutest thing and there's a big one here for adults and a small one here for kids is made out of cake by monjinis and it's so cool is she is recording it you just explain her what is this this is the cake is weighty the weight is more than 100 kg okay. this is made by seven people in two days the main thing is that this is this is all made by marjipun marjipun is the thing which connects with milk it's all made by marjipun so marjipun is the thing which connects with milk so here we are from last first day of office we were telling people that this cake is going to be last day to distribute this cake and here we are with our friends and family and everyone is having a good time and this cake is going to be last day to distribute this cake and here we are with our friends and family and everyone is having a good time and this cake is going to be last day to distribute this cake and here we are with our friends and family and everyone is having a good time and this cake is going to be last day to distribute this cake and here we are with sorry so there is not edible yes yeah, it's all edible it's all edible few product few things are not edible just yeah. the car is made of plastic yeah. that the uh, tree is made of plastic yeah. and that's the uh, flags and some little bit accessories are made on only otherwise everything is edible yeah. but just just in mumbai 2020 yeah. this is one of the biggest controversy in mumbai mm. here is a statue of shivaji marat nearby marine lines second project coming from vasubha to kalaba free coastal way yeah the third one is the underground metro is coming to ship to directly kalaba yeah. and the third, the third one is the, we are uh, the government is making a bridge to shivri to run that's called navashiva bridge okay. here we want to show the actually the project is this all project are projected by government expected by us okay thank you so this is regarding like organ donation and along with the organ donation installation they have a counter a stall here there are a lot of stalls here people are selling things different kind of things that is being made out of clay
right now and I am leaving from here. There was so much to uh, see but I have to go home early. Well, yeah, I haven't filled you guys in about what's happening in this week. I will do that when I'm at a better location where my audio is going to be a little better. So I'm going to go take a taxi and go to Church Gate Station now. just reviewed all of the footage from yesterday and I could not end the vlog yesterday because I got home late. My dad picked me up from the station and then we went out and ate lunch outside and yeah I haven't told you guys that my mom she's gone out on a trip. She left last Friday and she's coming back tomorrow about which I'm very excited. I do miss her and yeah so this week i called it as my trial week for canada because i had um, to take care of certain things at home especially food and it did pr go pretty smoothly so i think i'm quite ready to go to canada <laughs> anyway that is not the point so i really enjoyed at the kalagoda festival it is really amazing to see the kind of talent people have so there were so many artifacts and exhibits and there were so many stalls where people were selling things that they made. Um, there were handicrafts, there were wood, things crafted out of wood. There were sketches and paintings and what not. It was really amazing. But there was this one thing that really bothered me. So um, I think that a lot of people only attend that festival just to click pictures there which I think is pretty insane so all I could see was people gathering around the artifacts and not trying to understand what the artifact is about but just like standing there and clicking pictures taking selfies and taking group pictures and what not so I think clicking like a couple of pictures just for memory's sake that is fine and taking pictures of the artifacts that is fine but just taking your own pictures and I don't know that just seemed pretty crazy to me so I, I I was I was having difficulty to vlog because of that because I'm saying because a lot I was having difficulty to vlog because they were just like crowding around just to click pictures they were going so crazy over it I just could not understand I was looking at everybody and I was thinking what are you guys even doing like there were certain artifacts in which you could climb on and you know go inside but that did not mean that you should climb on it just because you have the permission to do something it's not necessary that you should do it anyway i don't want to turn this into a rant i was just unhappy to see the way people were behaving there but obviously there were a lot of people who are actually there to admire the art so yeah i'm going to quit quit uh, rant quit this rant venting out whatever you call it so anyway, if you are in Mumbai and if you haven't already been to the Kalaghoda festival, then make sure you go and attend the festival. 
um it's going to be there till 12th of february uh, so yeah you have two more days you can plan out and go make sure you don't go during the evening times because it's going to be really crowded there especially because it's weekend so try to plan to go there during the morning or the afternoon timings and take a friend along or maybe go alone i went alone and i enjoyed by myself but i think it would have been nice to have a friend along to discuss things and yeah so just make sure you attend the festival and if you're not in mumbai then make plans to come to mumbai next year in february kalaghoda is um, organized i think every february anyways so um, this another thing that i wanted to discuss or talk about um the thing is uh, and this is a little embarrassing uh, i have been a mumbai kar i have lived in mumbai my entire life and it's embarrassing to say that i haven't really explored my city completely so the other day i was just thinking that i will be leaving mumbai soon and i will be going to canada and let alone exploring my country i haven't even explored my city completely and i want to do that i want to explore my city before i leave and so i was thinking i would do some travel vlogs if i go out and explore so tell me if you would like to see travel vlogs i promise that the audio will be good when i do that the audio will be good i know the audio is going to be awful in this video as well and i apologize for that but yeah So if you would like for me to do some travel vlogs then do give this video a thumbs up or mention it down in the comments. Let's say um uh, if this video reaches 50 likes then I will definitely do travel vlogs um some travel vlogs. And yeah, I will end this video here. If you like this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you've already been to Kala Ghoda then share your experience down in the comments and if you're new here do subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos as well and I'll see you guys next time until then take care bye guys